How's it going, people? I'm gonna show you today how I clean my power load lithium gun. The IM65, mainly used for second fixing. It's the angled version, but if you've got the straight version, it's exactly the same. Obviously, you've just got a straight one, but the taking all apart and cleaning it is exactly the same, so it won't make a difference on that aspect. I did a video cleaning my IM350 Plus lithium last week. A few people asked for the second fixed version so that's why I'm doing this but if you wanted to see this one or if, if you've got one of these to clean on service then I'll put a link up below up below up here somewhere so it, it's pretty straightforward Allen key take off the back I'll run you through all the bits now and using a lot of this stuff a Holtz brake cleaner a lot cheaper it's a lot cheaper than buying the passive stuff but I mean this is obviously the right stuff you use but it's very expensive and this, I found somewhere on Amazon, you can get 12 of these for 30, yeah, 30 pound. And I'll put a link below if you want these. I mean, they're brilliant. They come out really powerful as well, which gets all the gunk off. Right, let's run down of what we need. Get into the video. Right, so first things first, obviously you need the gun. An Allen key, this does, you do get an Allen key when you buy a new one of these. Comes in with the, should be inside the box. It's a brake cleaner, the Holtz brake cleaner, I always find is the best. Um, comes out very powerful. For me, this is always the best stuff. Some Pazlo cleaner, oil. This is a small version, there is a bigger one, which again, you can get on Amazon. An old rag for drying it off, any old gunk. And I use like a wire brush to get down inside the piston. And cleaning just makes it a little bit easier. And that's that's basically it. There's not, I mean, there's not a lot to it really. So let's get to taking the gun apart and cleaning it. Right, first things first, obviously safety. Take your battery out and the gas. Put them out of the way. Take out any brads or pins that you have left inside the gun. And then take off this filter at the back, push it in here, should pop off. That needs a clean. And then we take off these four bolts on here. those four taken out and then we've got two on the side here on the side of the gas take them out too and that should release this back black part so I like to get a bit of kitchen roll put your bolts on there so they don't get mixed up and get lost once you've got all the bolts off you've got the four on the back two on the sides this should come off releasing that and on this one unlike the first fixed gun this can actually come off it doesn't have to stay attached so release that it's the little igniter button oh keep that slip something in there the little electric part put that off and then it sort of turns comes out that definitely needs a clean Do your best when we are cleaning to keep these nice and dry. What I'll do, I'll, I'll tuck them in there out of the way. The good stuff about this stuff, it does evaporate, but especially with the electronics and stuff, you, you have got to be careful because you don't want to be getting it inside there and you know blocking, clogging anything up. First of all, let's move this out of the way. Bag ready. Start by just giving everything a good spray. A brush in there. Hold the fan. Again, you've got to be quite careful with the fan because they are delicate. I've seen them snap on people before. All the gunk that we want to get off, all this black around the all around the rings. Give everything a good scrub. It loosens all the, the crap off, basically. Right, 
doing my best not to get any around the back here. Dry everything off. Look at it already. It's already coming off all this. It was the same colour as that a minute ago. So it's already doing a good job. Basically just repeat the process until you get rid of all the black gunk. And uh, these, these O-rings should be able to sort of move freely. At the moment they're still quite stiff. So I'll do some more, get some more cleaning with a brush. Well, that's basically that bit done. Now it just needs a good, like, give it at least an hour just to dry. Just to let it air out and get off, uh, let this stuff evaporate. But I mean, it's so much better than it was. Got off all the crap. These O-rings on the back now are still uh, moving freely. And we'll oil these up before we put everything back together. But, so yeah, all the gunk's gone. And now, we'll clean inside here. Right, what I'm actually going to do with these, I'm just going to pull them out. Just to avoid to spray the, spraying these because obviously they're electric. So electrics we don't want to get mixed with liquids. If you push this up, releases that. You can see the pin inside. Each time that piston goes down, pushes a pin, and which just fires the brad or the, the pin. So we just spray it upside down to box all the. Well, just to let all the rubbish pour out, basically. Get a good spray. And this is where I get my wire brush. Push down the piston. Give it a good clean inside, just loosen up all the gunk again. Spray. Push the pin back up. You can push this piston, that's what it's called, back up into position. Use the Allen key to get that back up. Need to get a little spray in here. Anywhere with residue, basically, just give it a spray with this. Again, I'll say it again, I know I've said it a hundred times, but avoid the cables and electric parts. Then, the last thing to clean, so that's the gun cleaned now. We've got the inside of the gun all nice and clean. All around the bottom by the pin is all cleaned of any residue. The fan is all cleaned on the, the O-rings. The last thing is just, just give this a spray the filter. Give that a damper, a uh, dab just to dry. That just allows the fan to breathe better. Give this a good hour to air off, and then more or less that's it. He's just putting it back together and just oiling it all up. So I'll give this an hour now to air, and we'll put it back together. A good hour or so now to air out, let all the brake cleaner dry off properly. So what we'll do now, we'll put it back together, oil up the bits and pieces, and fire away. We'll start off by putting some oil down down the chamber where the pin runs. Only a couple of drops, doesn't need a lot. Let that run down for a sec. <clears throat> and then push the piston up. I'll try and show you at the same time. Push the piston up from the bottom. You see the pin come up. Put some oil on top of the pin. There's my Allen key. Push the pin back down. And then same in the back now, just around the piston we'll put some, a couple of drops, I'll use the back of this, push it down, 
just allows the oil to go up and down the piston before a couple of drops in and around the chamber. We'll push the pin back up. Push it down and up a few times just to let the oil get around. Should be enough. Put that back in place. And then. Right, little cut shot, sorry. Basically, I was just editing the video and I realized that I forgot to oil the O-rings. So I've just come back into the garage <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna oil the O-rings. So, just cut. Right, so I don't know how I forgot that, but I've just took the gun back apart. And basically, there's the O-rings, the two rings at the back behind the fan. Just need a couple of drops all the way around. And maybe rub it in your finger. Switch it over, do the same on this side. And then it can go back together. So don't forget to do this like me. Right, we'll get back to the video now. And then we'll put in the fan now. Once all that's oiled up. So it'll go in, this sort of goes in at an angle. And clicks round. And you see a little, there's like an indent out. Indent, you know, a little groove the cables to sit in so that that's all lined up now and then you see the little groove where the cable used to sit comes round sits back into place and then oh where's my little rubber thing don't forget that that protects this is what i'm pretty sure this is what ignites the gas inside the chamber make sure that clicks on properly and then put your filter on the back Back how you took it off. Cap goes back on. And the screws go back in. And then get the gas and the battery back in there and some brads. The gas sits in place. Go back in. Battery. We found a bit of wood. Right, here we go. Go away, ready? Beautiful. Looks a treat. Now, what I will say, I didn't mention it in the video, but do not use N uh, uh, WD-40. Honestly, it's the worst you can do. Use this stuff. Um, I find with power slow, as long as you keep on top of service them every now and then, they seem to last ages. I've used nothing else with power slow, and they, they've done the job for me, so. Um, yeah, this is the stuff I'll put in the description. If you want any of it, then go grab it down there. And uh, thanks for watching.